Hey beautiful people, I am this day your favorite girl again, Maria David, and I'm back again with another interesting video. Soft guy era 2024 is a soft guy era. Drizzle drizzle. If you're not following the movement, this man has started their soft guy era. You all know Sprinkle Sprinkle, Shara Seven saying that don't do anything, you know, be with a man for money, financial, you know, financial advice. That's what she gives anyway. So now this men have started their own drizzle drizzle, their own movement, which is drizzle drizzle. They want to have this soft guy era. They don't want to do anything. They just want to be at home, quick and clean, and not do anything. Like just let the woman provide for them. Do basically everything they're supposed to do as a man. So now women are reacting to this soft guy era. I posted this video earlier. If you've not seen it, kindly click the description box. Go and watch the men's, you know, talk about their soft guy era situation. And let's see what women have to say about this whole situation. And then let me know your own thoughts about this video down in the comment section. And I'll see you at the end of the video. What's actually hilarious is the amount of women that are outraged by this soft guy era. Because basically these men are flipping the roles on them. <laughs> And they realize how ridiculous and unrealistic it sounds when a man says it. But then when they say it, it's not ridiculous. Like some women have even gone as far as to call these men gay and act really homophobic towards them for simply asking for what they're asking for. And what I get from it, even if it is a joke, jokes aside, it's about reciprocation and it's showing how many women expect it automatically because their inflated egos are telling them that they deserve it no matter what without any reciprocation. And I don't know about you guys, but any relationship that you're in deserves appreciation, reciprocation, and I think a lot of you guys need to go back to kindergarten where we learn to treat others how you want to be treated. Because if you don't want to be used, then don't use people. If you don't want to be looked at as a paycheck, don't be a gold digger. If you want respect, you have to give respect. If you want someone to be compassionate and considerate, you have to be compassionate and considerate. And yes, this absolutely goes both ways. So the fact that so many women are showing the fact that they'll never reciprocate the same energy, this explains why so many men are out here, just match my energy, match my energy and I'll match yours. And the problem is it's not happening. It's the same way that so many women will come online and bash men and talk shit about men and, and talk about their first dates being awful. But the moment that my platform or other women like me call out toxic behaviors, it's a problem. So y'all can talk shit about men and their toxic behaviors, but when women call you out on your own toxic behaviors, it's different. Anyways, drizzle drizzle, kings. Okay, bye. It's so funny to see men talking about soft boy area, whatever. We don't want to provide anymore. We don't want to pay the bills anymore. Finally, because I always wanted that type of control. I always wanted that control. And trust me, if that happens, I'm going to come with requirements. If I'm going to pay all the bills, you must not cheat. Like, you must stay faithful because one, even one flirty, one text message, you're getting kicked out. You're going to become homeless. You're going back to your mother house yes that's it you must do every single thing i say every single ass stuff i say every work every type of labor in the house is gonna be fall on you and don't don't even say no because you're gonna get kicked out and you ain't paying no bills the house is mine so girls y'all shouldn't complain because this is amazing because we now have the control we can choose what man we want when they stay, when they leave, when they go, what they do. They Embarrassing for black men? Well, fuck it. I'll hop in then and I'll say the same thing. I am in my soft guy era. Now it's embarrassing for all men that we're holding our standard the exact same way that you have a standard for us. Okay. That's the women playbook. They'll either call you insecure, they'll call you gay, which is homophobic, don't do that, or they'll try to shame you. Why do women do that? Because that's their internal playbook. They have no, they can't actually make men do anything physically because obviously we're stronger. So throughout history, that's how they've gotten to control men. However, since y'all wanted equal rights and equal pay so bad, and now that you've gotten it, it's only fair that we go 50-50 we go in the relationship, which at this point in the video would invoke you saying, oh, like you're broke, you're a broke, insecure guy, naturally. But I don't know if you could tell, that is my water view. Shame on women for wanting rights. Shame on you for wanting equal pay and shame on you for not wanting to be at their mercy. Shame. I just wanted to start off by saying I've told y'all multiple times, you know you're dealing with a red pillar when any of these three words are used, equality, feminism, and independent. 
That's their holy trinity. But what I love about these talking points that they like to make is that it's entirely dependent on if you're willing to go 50-50 with them or not. And what I mean by that is they can say it's only fair till the cows come home. If women woke up tomorrow and said, I'm not going 50-50 and I'm not entertaining a 50-50 guy, now what? The same way that they can't be forced to do anything is the same way that they can't force you to go half on anything. What you ladies need to understand about this 50-50 conversation is the entire thing is shut down when you simply refuse to do it. Because the amount of times they've got in my comments talking about, but you wanted equality, so now you have to go 50-50. I don't have to do anything. But the economy, get another job. But you wanted equal rights. Yup, and I'm still not going 50-50. And they have nothing left to say because if I'm not willing to do it, there's no argument. They're talking to a brick wall. And the crazy part about this entire thing is that it's only 50-50 in theory. In order for it to truly be 50-50, you have to take sex out of the equation because that's not 50-50. Women are more vulnerable and at higher risk of contracting STDs. Kids have to also be taken out of the equation because pregnancy and childbearing isn't 50-50. They can't carry the child for four and a half months and then give it back to you for the other four and a half months. So unless y'all are getting a surrogate and splitting the cost right down the middle, it's not 50-50. Also, you have to take submission off the table because if you're two equal partners, one isn't going to be submitting to the other. So it needs to actually, actually be 50-50. But the thing is, they don't want everything I just said, though. They want the package deal where you're doing most of the work and then handing them half of your paycheck, calling it equality. Yeah. But the one thing I do agree with that he said is y'all need to stop your endless attempts at shaming. Y'all have gotten in my comment section saying things like, why are we shaming the women instead of the men for their bad behavior? Let me tell y'all something and listen closely. They don't care. <laughs> they don't care. The only way to deal with these men is to let them expire alone. Stop calling them sassy. Stop calling them soft. Stop saying that they love their bros. Stop trying to debate them. At the end of the day, you have the control and you will always have the control. And they know that. Instead of calling them, instead of calling these men sassy, y'all need to be thankful that more and more of these men are coming out, showing y'all their faces so you know exactly who gets to have a woman and who gets to have their DNA carried on versus who gets to die off. Let these men be soft, let them stay soft, and let them expire alone. They got these ladies out here mad as hell about this soft guy era movement. Okay, I'm ready to have an honest dialogue about this. As one of the girls who has videos on it, I will say I'm not mad. Um, it's just utterly confusing. So shout out to this content creator who said it originally started as a joke, but now guys are trying to make this like a real thing. Like therefore be moved. The reason why I just don't see how this soft guy era drizzle drizzle could ever work for our generation, the millennial generation, the Gen Z generation is because in my opinion, and just being a woman in a straight relationship with a man, you get more out of me than I get out of you in just my essence of being a woman. I am the one that will probably provide you with more big O's than you can provide me. And I'm not saying this to shame men, or um, I'm just saying just like biologically speaking, you know, in terms of like, intimacy therapists and things like that. Like women, you got to warm women up. Men are like a microwave, you know? So for one, my body alone will give you more pleasing things than your body can give me. As a result of that intimacy, if it creates a kid, it's my body that is creating the kid. You have the seed, but after that, my body is doing all the cooking. And for the first couple years, my body is required to nourish that baby. That again takes your last name. So just me being a female, a woman, the feminine, there is so much that you're getting from me that that is supposed to be the point of why the masculine and the men are then supposed to provide and protect because you have your own doll. You have your own princess that can offer all these things to you. So again, I'm not mad. I'm just confused on how this could like ever work because I can't picture 
a significant amount of single millennial or Gen Z woman again, who would agree to this? Who would agree to pay your bills and take care of you? I genuinely just don't see what the purpose is and what we're offering and like what you'd be offering that that would be a good, um, a good compromise. But hey, go off Kings. You know, again, as I advise, there's probably some older women you can go after. Um, and again, maybe some Pikmishas. There might be some Pikmishas so desperate for a man that they will tolerate you. But uh, in general, it has been very funny. It has created great dialogue in this modern gender war that exists. But do I see a lot of success for you fellas? Compared to what we as women can accomplish with a 4B? No. To the ego that y'all have, that y'all think you're all worth a guy paying for everything. When you get Actually, that's not true. There are women that is going 50-50 with you. Some of y'all are in relationships with 50-50 women, okay? Women who are attracted to soft guys or whatever. Yeah. But the need to control is your problem. You're jumping into a woman's business that don't even want nothing to do with you. You're not even an option. You're not even the choice. We don't care. We don't want to be with you. Some of y'all are already married to 50-50 women, but you're jumping into another woman's business who don't even want you because of your need to control. I see married men on here tagging women who are saying that they want a man who provides. You're married. Why are you worried about another woman who is not worried about you? Because that is your need to control. It's, it's really pathetic. This is one of the realest drizzle, drizzle, satire, reverse psychology movements that I've ever seen on social media, <laughs> on TikTok. This is wild how all of these women is going back and forth with these men. He said the whole tone out of a joke. And it done went 50, 11 times around the moon on TikTok. And it all came from reverse psychology. That was smooth as ever. And I've been laughing for a minute because I caught it from the first snippet when I seen what was going on. And I just been a laughing and the laughing and these women about to lose. Calm down, ladies, calm down. It was just a joke. It was a real legit joke. Reverse psychology on how women actually be sounding, saying half of the stuff that they actually be saying out of their mouth. If you gotta make it make sense, make it make sense. And he just did it in reverse as far as a man saying it and seeing how it sounded. And oh, he done pissed off everybody. Log off TikTok, log off TikTok, log off. <laughs> if you see and kindly put your thoughts and your comments and your opinion and your suggestion down in the comment section, what is your take on this sub guy, sub guy era drizzle drizzle that these men are, you know, doing on tiktok or anywhere let me know for me i feel like it's a joke and as i said in the first video i said is i feel like it's a joke and they're just trying to mock women and but then i feel like the joke is on them because i don't see anything that they want to do that is so special that they've not done before or something that is going to make somebody be afraid or make women to be afraid that oh my god this um sub guy era is not going to work blah 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 mm -mm. To me, I feel like it's a joke, um, but then at the same time, most of them are still doing it in their relationship. Just like they don't fully provide for you. They expect you to provide. They expect you to work and give them half of your payments. But then you will still cook and clean and take care of the children, have 
get pregnant, do other things that they, they cannot help you to do 50-50. But when it comes to your own finance, they want you to, to go to work and give them your salary. So with that, you're not fully providing for the woman. So I don't see why you, you're already living the soft guy era. <laughs> You're already living a soft guy era for me. So I don't, this soft guy era, I just feel like it's a joke. But then there's some women that took it very serious. Um, but, it, but there are also some women, there's some pick me's that, uh, you know, you already saw pick me's in the stitches anyway. <laughs> you know, anyways, let me know your own thoughts about this uh, movement down in the comment section. What is your take about this soft guy era drizzle <laughs> situation? I really love to hear your thoughts. And thank you all so much for sticking around to this point. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe and kind of on the post notification bell and get notified once I upload another interesting video like this one. And of course, you all, I'll see you all in my next video.